Yeah, listen, I, I think we were, you know, they were a step faster than us tonight. Uh, we, were, we were a step behind and, and uh, no excuses. They were in a back-to-back, we are in a back-to-back. You know, three and four nights, I, I, I think that's where, you know, that's where our growth as, as a young team, we have, we have to, you know, you, you know, play well two, two nights, you know, that third night you got you to come again and, and bring it again. And that's why this is a tough league. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll regroup. We got three days before our, uh, you know, next game, which is a rare thing in the NBA. We could do a little mini training camp and, and fix what, what happened tonight uh, and, and, you know, get after against Cleveland. From your view, what's causing the, the turnovers? You know, I, I believe it, I, I think we're holding the ball a little too. Like the ball's not moving like it should. And and you know, I know we had 25 assists, but I feel like it's, I feel like we're holding it. And we got to share it. We got to be a quick decision team and and uh, you know move bodies, move uh, uh, move the ball. And I, I just don't feel like we're there right now. And uh, um, you know, like I said, we got three days to, to fine tune some things, and uh, uh, especially offensively. And and you know, we definitely got to take care of the turnover thing. That's for sure. I know it was tough to see him go down with the ankle injury, but before that, how impressed were you with what you were getting from Rodi on? Yeah, listen, Rodi, Rodi plays hard. You know, I thought, you know, he, you know, there's some good and some bad tonight. You know, he's, but uh, you know, he does everything full out, and, and I love his energy. Uh, I like that he's shooting the catch and shoot. Uh, we want him to be open. You know, he took a couple of contested ones, but he's a young guy learning. I think he had a, you know, he had a couple of turnovers. You're like, man, you know, can we get that one back? I just think we have some some turnovers that are kind of unexplainable at times but that's youth and we're going to show it to them and we're going to talk about them and and then we'll get better indiana has ambition to be in one of the top teams in the east what do you what type of learning do you experience or do you take away from that to your show your guys just the force and physicality and strength and and you know kind of mental focus you have to come on the, on the back to back and i felt those guys uh you know led by oladipo you know he he affects the game on on both ends and and uh to compete at that level you know uh, uh you know on a back-to-back like we, we got to get there we, we kind of we competed for a while and then and, uh you know kind of shrunk understanding that this is um this is the best team that you faced but i mean in your mind the end of that first half are there a lot of teachable moments in that end game where you look kind of young you know spencer's yeah. foul there and then yeah spencer's foul and then roadie uh, uh, you know, foul when they were in a bonus, and and so the, you know, I told them at halftime, it's you know, we can control, we can control, and, and those mental mistakes, th- those are the ones that really bother you as a coach. So, you know, we'll put it up there on the film, and, and we'll talk about it, and, and make sure they know. But I thought we lost our discipline uh, uh, defensively, and in, in in, at the end of that second quarter, and, and you know, where it could have been a manageable game, now all of a sudden it's ten points. So you go into the locker room down ten, and, and uh, it's two. Too much against a good team. Too much. Is especially when you have. I know you don't want to make excuses, but when you have three, probably your three best perimeter defensive forwards all out. I mean, is that kind of where it shows up? You know, them shooting 16 of 24 or whatever it was. Yeah, but Brian, you know what I always say? We pay 17 guys. Like you got to step up. You know, these guys are NBA players, and and the next guy's got to step up, and and uh, we can't worry about the guys that aren't here. And uh, uh, you know, and that's the way it is going forward. We're, we're gonna, you know, guys are gonna be out, and, and the next guy's gonna step up and 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 do a better job defensively. Rudy has uh, stepped up, I think, more than I probably most outside of your building would have anticipated. Um, how severe do you think that is? And if it's not that severe, is he making an argument to get even more minutes and possibly even challenge Jared? At, you know, ex- yeah. I'm ex- saying double. Yeah. <laughs> no, X-rays were negative, so I, I, I don't think I think it's a little sprain, so he should be okay. Uh, no, you know, we'll see. I like Jared, but that that that, that just start. I, I love the way Jared moves the ball, Jared Dudley. I, I think he he moves it, and he gets a, he gets the ball cooking, and uh, we need that. We need that with that first group. Uh, um, he, he he's important for the group right now, so I think we'll probably probably keep it like that for now.